The exciting data that comes out is that patients who have been already exposed to thalidomide and lenalidomide, those who have already been exposed to pertussimum and those now have relapsed and refractory disease not responding to any other therapy and they've exhausted the treatment, pomalidomide with or without dexamethasone has shown to be active. So this is a critical molecule that is important for patients who have currently failed all the existing treatment modalities. So that's where it is very important. But overall, pomalidomide, because we have a lot of experience in using thalidomide and lenalidomide, it's a newer immunomodulatory molecule, but it fits into the same template. So it could be easily combined with a proteasome inhibitor, it could be combined easily with the alkylating agent. So the combination therapies are currently ongoing and th those are showing exciting results. Uh, you know, so I think pomalidomide is an important drug the physician should be aware. There is also a large randomized phase three trial ongoing and we are hoping that positive signal will give full approval for this drug.